tickle your tongue, spoonerisms in jokes. Hello, language learners. Welcome to another exciting lesson in our series on the elements of jokes. Today, we're diving into an entertaining and mind-bending type of wordplay, spoonerisms. Spoonerisms can twist your tongue and tickle your funny bone at the same time. Let's explore how we can use spoonerisms in jokes to spice up our English language skills. Before we jump into the jokes, let's understand what spoonerisms are. Named after Reverend W. A. Spooner, who was known for his accidental verbal slips, spoonerisms are an error in speech where corresponding consonants, vowels, or morphemes are switched between two words in a phrase. For example, you have hissed all my mystery lectures and were caught fighting a liar in the quad, instead of, you have missed all my history lectures and were caught lighting a fire in the quad. So, we are essentially swapping sounds between words to create a new, often humorous, phrase. Using spoonerisms in jokes is all about creativity and fun. It's about taking familiar phrases and mixing them up. Here's a simple spoonerism joke to start with. Why don't we feast our eyes on a brat in a hat, rather than a hat on a brat? Here, brat in a hat, and hat on a brat, are spoonerisms. How do we come up with these jokes? Let's try making one ourselves. 1. Choose a common phrase. Let's take, it's raining cats and dogs. 2. Identify the sounds to swap. Here, we can swap the R in raining with the C in cats and the D in dogs with the A in N. 3. Swap them and make your spoonerism. Our new phrase becomes, it's caning rats and dags. Now, make it a joke by adding a punchline. Why did the rodents move quickly and the Australian wild dogs cry? Because it's caning rats and dags. Keep practicing. It's okay if your jokes don't land the first few times. The key is to keep trying and have fun with the language. And that's our lesson on using spoonerisms in jokes. I hope this lesson not only gave you a good laugh, but also equipped you with a new and fun way to practice your English skills. Remember, learning a language is not only about grammar and vocabulary, but also about understanding the humor and the playfulness of it. Keep your English learning journey fun and engaging. Until our next lesson, happy learning and joking.